morning, Doctor. Come right through. Dang, but fuck it. The Prada Gucci be getting me loud of coochie. I'm hotter than Fada Lucci with bottle. Oh, with hot love. Love. Hey, you alright there over there, over there, lady? Wait, wait, what, what the fuck? Shit! What the fuck, man? No, no, what, what the fuck, the fuck was that? Dealing in the shit, you trying to give it to me, just to chill that bitch. Counts with the blocks go bang. Stay away from that lady, you fucking shit. What the fuck's going on here? Thank you. You alright, man? Yeah. That was a close call. <sighs> I'm good. What the fuck? Alright, I guess. Thank you again. Thank you. I don't worry about it. You alright there? Because we gotta move out right now. Follow me, people. Right, into the car shop. Seems secure. Check upstairs as well. Oh, slow, slow down a second. We lost someone out there. Oh shit! What fuck, happened, man? This is bad. I mean, one of them stripper girls. She got bit. I couldn't help her. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh. Hey, man, you saw what happened to Brittany? Did you see what happened to the girl oh. in the dress? Oh, no, I'm sorry. What's going on? I I need to get home to my wife. I need to help her. I what what happened to your neck? My, my my wife bit me. The fucking idiot! You fucking let my 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 girl die out there. This is all your fault. Calm down, sir. I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down. Man, you gotta control yourself. We gonna put we gonna we gonna lock you up for now. Oh, it's bad out there. Uh, I think we should stay here for tonight. I agree, but, I mean, what's going on? I don't even know what's going on here. Hey, I used to patrol the malls at night. You, I, I don't know what's going on either. Man, I'm a cop and all that, but none of us got a clue, all right? It's some kind of epidemic, I don't know, but I think it's smart to stay here for the night. Me too. Then I think we all agree that we should make this place a bit safer and stay here and sleep. And no sleep. fucking way I'm following you! You fucking say you let my girl die! You take one step closer and I'll shoot you! You, you don't go... Uh, uh, fuck you! Put your gun down, he ain't gonna do you no harm, alright? Just, we gotta work together, I mean, there's an apocalypse out there. Alright, I'll put down my gun. This asshole hey, started uh, it. 
Weren't we one more before? I mean, what happened to the guy with the neck bite? Hey, didn't he go to the top? Oh, get this motherfucker off me! No, you don't take another step. You're infected now. Kill him quick before he turns into the other one. You got that gun out of my face. Once again, man, I would advise you to slowly lower that gun. We don't know this science. We don't know what's gonna happen. Now you better let me go. I'm gonna Kill him. fucking Listen bust your tail. Listen to my all right? Bust your skull in as soon it's as I get out of here. It's gonna be okay. Just, just shut up. Just have to think. Oh, you can't think right? with all those nerves down, head, man. Head on my head. Listen to me. I don't know what's getting into you people. He's been bit, all right? He, he, we don't know what's gonna happen. As the police officer said over here, he can We We don't know the science behind this, so... Can we please just settle down, settle our minds down and agree that we need to keep him safe and secure, but we can't just kill him. He's a person, he's a human being. We gotta respect that, all right? This man is right. Listen to it. Shit, he's gone. Okay, man, let's go. No, no. Search for more survivors. God damn it! What's going on? He's dead! They killed him! Whoa! Oh shit! What is happening out here, guys? You know that guy who was bitten? Yeah? Well, he ran away and now he's dead. I told you! I told you he was dangerous! You should have. Take this gun! Go around and help the others! Go! I cover you! Go man, I'll be right behind you! What the hell is going on up there man? The guys who own this place, they're back and we need to get out of here. Oh, how are we going to die? Through the window. Okay guys, I go first. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Calm down and I'll catch you. Are you okay, guys? Yeah, we're fine. Yes, we're safe now. Your turn, man. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm okay. It's nothing. I just broke my leg. Shit, man, we gotta get you to a hospital. But he needs help now. <laughs> Watch out! Hey, look out! Okay, guys, let's get out of here! Come on, guys, let's get out of here! I cover you! Rachel? It's okay. Drop the shovel. We're safe now. I promise you, Rachel. We will be okay. We need to move! Hey! Over here! Help us! Then you need to help us. Clear these fuckers out and we'll give you a ride. Already on it. Good. Robert and Diego better be here. Just a few more minutes. Jenko, look, it's Robert and Diego. Thank you. Really, we wouldn't have made it without your help out there. No problem. You would have done the same for us. Ah, they already did. Thank you for helping me back there. 
Hey, it's the least we could do. We need to stick together and help each other in these kind of situations. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Sarah, and this is my husband, Jenko. Pleasure to meet you both. My name is Dominic, this is Vincent, and this is Rachel. Nice to meet you all. Who the fuck are these people? Calm down, Robert. They are friendly. We ain't gonna hurt you. Who the fuck are you? My name is Dominic Johnson, and I'm an officer of the law, so I suggest you take that gun out of my face. There are no cops anymore. Haven't you noticed the world's changed? The law is gone. There are people eating each other out on the streets, for Christ's sake. I am fully aware of that, sir, and I am doing the best I can to protect the people that aren't eating each other yet. Now, if you think I do a bad job, go ahead and try doing it yourself. Robert, where's Diego? Robert, where the hell is Diego? He didn't fucking make it, alright? Now calm down! What do you mean he didn't make it? Don't you get it? He fucking died! Fuck. It was just a kid. It was just a fucking kid. I'm sorry, man. Let's just keep going. I'm sorry for this, guys. I... I just liked Diego. He was a good kid. So, what's your story? Well, it all started when I got a call on the police radio about some commotion down at the strip club. When I got there, I found the manager with two girls standing outside. The manager told me that some guy came into the club and started to bite people. At first, I thought he had rabies or something. But no man, this was worse. Enough with the storytelling. We should stop and check this place out. Okay, let's split up in groups. Dominic, would you like to join me in a search for some gas? That sounds good. Good. Sarah, you and Rachel stay here at the RV. Vincent and Robert, could you check the place out for supplies? Sure thing. This place looks pretty promising, actually. Yeah. Sorry, man, but you're already dead. Robert, you bastard! Start the fucking engine! We got jumped! We gotta get the fuck out of here! Shit, where the fuck is everyone? Hey! We have to leave now! Oh, the hell with this? I'm out of here. That was gunshot! Now that's the RV! What the hell? Oh no. We need to find the other. Hey, Diego, in here. Man, that was a close one. Yeah. We can't stay here though.
No, we can't. Let's move. Fuck! Go, 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 go! Up the roof! No! Jenko, continue up the roof while I cover you! Shit! I'm out! Grab my hand! <sighs> Thanks, man. <sighs> so what now? Sarah, what did you do before all this? Before this? Oh, I was a nurse at the hospital in Dalewood. Of course that ended when it got overrun. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, it feels good to have someone with medical training around. Yes, and I'm happy to help. So, what did you do? <gasps> I worked uh, as a solo career, as a dancer. Yes, that's uh, what I did. A dancer, huh? Well, that's nice, right? Yeah, <laughs> it sure was. Once I even... <coughs> oh no! Vincent! Don't worry, Rachel. You're going to... <coughs> Rachel, stay behind me! <coughs> Rachel, we need to get out of here. No, no, we can't leave Vincent in there. We can't. He's going to die. <coughs> Rachel! Rachel, we need to get out of here. Okay, okay. Where are we going? I don't know. <sighs> it's over. No, don't say that, man. There's still hope. We're gonna make it. I, I, I promise. I know I just met you, and you seem like a decent guy. But how? Can you possibly believe that we're going to survive this? How can you be so fucking optimistic? This is the fucking end of the world for fuck's sake! We're all doomed. I understand that you feel this way. But I won't give up. That's not me. You understand? I don't give up. That's not my thing. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. So what's your plan, Einstein? Well... I don't know. But there's gotta be a way. I hope you're right. You know, we needed to run, or else we would be dead. And then, what's the point? I guess you're right. I just hope nothing happens to them. Yeah, me too. Hey, look at that sign. There's a diner nearby. Maybe we should stay there for the night. And perhaps even find something to eat. Uh, I'd really like something to eat. Me too. I would easily go for some chocolate now. <laughs> I thought that the power was all gone, but maybe that's just in the big cities. It sure looks that way. Let's head inside. I'm starving.
Do you still think there is some food here? Hey Rachel, I found some wine. And I found some canned beans over here. Thank you, Sarah. For what? For saving me. Twice. I just don't think it's time to give up on humanity yet. And you seem like nice people. Well, thanks anyway. Maybe we should get some sleep. <gasps> Sarah? Is it you? Shh, Rachel. Don't panic. But someone's here. Oh no. Don't move. What's going on? I'm scared, Dad. That life isn't what it used to be. Nah, man. Sure as hell ain't the same no more. <laughs> so, do you have a plan this time? Eh, uh, actually, man. Quite, quite funny thing. We don't need one. It seems that all the zombies. Whoa, 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 whoa. Zombies? Really? Is that what we're calling them? What would you call them then? I don't know. Just zombies? Isn't that a little extreme? How about sets then? No? Infected? Infected sounds good. I'll go with infected. Well, back to the point. The infected are gone. They must have left during the night, man. So we can just climb down safe. Good. I really need to find Sarah. I'm worried about her. No, uh, <coughs> huh? You still here? Jenko, who you talking to, man? What? No one. Let's go. Hey, Dominic. Yeah? What's on your mind? I'm sorry for... You know, for Vincent. He seemed like a nice and harmless guy. And he didn't deserve this. Yeah, man. Sure was. It won't be the same without him. This was not what I was expecting today. Jesus Christ! Drop the gun, lady! We don't want any trouble. Is that your daughter? Stay behind me, Lucy. It's none of your business who that is. Okay, just stay calm. I just never thought that I'd see another kid again. I'm going to lower my gun, but only if you do the same. <laughs> Good. Don't pull any tricks at us now. Lower your gun, Lenny. You sure, Adam? Yeah. Let's do what the lady says. Are you all alone out here? No. Rachel, you can come out now. Hey, hey, Adam. She's with me. Lower your gun. Who else is here? Are there any more hiding out there? Mm, not here, but there are... Some... Yes, just us. Now will you lower your gun, please? Adam, come on, they seem reasonable. As you said, listen to the lady. There, there is a chance that Rachel and I did take the RV, right? Because if so, they're safe and we will eventually find them, Jenko. 
So No. They would never abandon us like that. It was fucking Robert, I promise you. He's such a fucking idiot. I should have never trusted him from the start. Well, if you don't want him around, how come you two stick together? Well, the first day Sarah and I met Diego, who was the kid down the street delivering the papers. We had met him before, and his parents were long lost. So, he tagged along. something that would blow over. So we decided to stock up. The local supermarket was a great place to start. It's worse than I thought. We are getting disconcerting reports of mass and they fall over the state. Details were sketchy at this time, although there was no official statement from law enforcement officials. The police chief has speculated that rival gangs may be involved. And we are told that we are going to go Split up and see what we can find. This is messed up. Jesus fuck! What happened here? He wouldn't let go. I, I had no choice. I need food. Hey, hey. Just tell me what happened. You can't trust anyone anymore. Don't make me shoot you too. Whoa, okay. I haven't done anything to you. Give me your stuff. I can't do that. Give me your fucking stuff! God damn. I'm not gonna shoot you, okay? I'm just trying to make you see that your way of doing things isn't the right way to do things, okay? Hey, come with me. We have an RV just outside the store. Hello there. Don't shoot. Uh, I'm friendly. What you want, redhead? Well, first of all, not to get shot. That's for sure. I just, I just want to get through. Well, what do you have for us? What, what, what do you mean? Well, you ought to play the toll, you know. Okay, I guess. Uh, what do you want? Uh, money? Because I know I have some in the trunk. Fine. We'll take your cash, <laughs> and the rest of your stuff. Well, just let me, let me get it for you then. I, I know I left some real nice stuff in the back. Go with him and make sure he does know uh, what to say. Funny business. Let me just...
So, Lenny, where did you all come from? Well, it's cool, Lenny. You can tell them. We're from Toronto. Huh. That's not far from Dalewood, right? <laughs> That's right. You're from Dalewood? You can say that. It's a long story. So what are you doing here? Well, we're heading up towards Montreal. It's supposed to be safe there. That's nice. Yeah. Hopefully we'll find people who actually know what's going on here. <laughs> I'm sorry for the impolite approach earlier. I have to protect my daughter at all costs. This world's dangerous. But uh, I guess now that we're finally sitting down and talking, it seems like you guys can handle yourselves pretty well. We can really use your help going to Montreal. No. No, we can't leave. Uh, we have a location of a nearby car. They have a car. Where is this car then? It's just a few blocks away. I know this guy who had an auto dealership and I'm sure he had some sweet rides left. Okay, we'll help you get it. But before we leave for Montreal, we need your help as well. Deal. Alright, so the dealership is back in the city, but before we stop, it's not that far from us. We should get there after a 10 to 15 minute walk. Once we get into the city, we have to be careful since it'll probably crawl with dead ones. So we don't want to do anything stupid that will attract them. They'll go at anything that makes noise, and I mean anything. Once we're there, the car should be parked inside of a shop with the keys in the upstairs office. Let's just hope the staff is monitored up by now. What about Lucy? Well, uh, I thought maybe Rachel... Yes? Could you uh, take Lucy once we arrive? And then you can go get the keys while we clear up any possible employees? Of course I can. Lucy will be safe with me. Lucy, I need you to be brave now. Can you be brave for Daddy? Oh, okay, Dad. Good. Rachel here has promised that she'll take care of you while Daddy and Lenny go fix the car for us so we don't have to walk anymore. Does that sound good? Yes, Dad. Good. Daddy loves you, sweetheart. I love you too, Dad. Okay, the dealership is just a few blocks away now, so we should split up. Rachel, you take Lucy around the building to avoid any contact with the dead, understood? Come with me, Lucy. We can do it. The rest of us takes the main entrance. Now, don't go in shooting everything. We need to be careful and quiet. Okay, let's do this. Good luck, Rachel. Yes, you too, Sarah. Well, I'm sorry for bad judgment, but I guess we found a way in. Let's just hope there's no more surprises. Lenny, can you find the switch? Found it! Oh shit! Could you just turn off the lights again? Is that the car you were talking about? Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> There's only one way to do this, I'm afraid. Yeah, sure looks that way. Ooh, 
food. Okay, let's do this then. That went surprisingly well. Shit! We need to check on Rachel Oh Lucy. god, you're right! Look! It's Sarah! No! No, Sarah! Don't! What the hell? <coughs> no! No! No, Sarah! No! <coughs> what are you doing? No, no, Sarah. You can't die. Not like this, Sarah. Not like this. No, oh, please. Don't kill me. I didn't mean to, I swear. Fuck oh, you. No, no, no. Shut up. You kill Sarah. Jesus, what the fuck happened here? Oh my god, honey, are you alright? Oh my god. Oh god, no. Fuck, fuck! Not now, come on! Fuck you! Uh, why? I'm in the middle of nowhere. Seriously. Uh, I don't suppose that Junko has an extra tire in the trunk. <laughs> nope. How fucking obvious. Thank you, Junko! You fuck! Oh, so what now? Is this the point where I shoot myself in the head and hope to go to heaven? Fuck! Hey, Redhead! You're a dead man, okay? Dennis here may never be able to have small ones because of you. Gerald, I reckon I have one thing left to say to you, and that is to simply fuck off. Dude! Not cool! Do not spoil my name like that! Hey, Redhead! Redhead! You're dead. Just face it. Yeah, and I'll tell you this, if you try to fight back, it's not even going to be worth it, because you're going to lose, you're going to lose so hard, you're going to go home to your mama every night and cry. Cry for the rest of your life. Seriously, Dennis? Why, why you have to be like this? He knows he's dead, okay? You guys don't seem so professional. You know what? I will not deal with this. Fuck you! Kill him! Get him! Go! I'll teach you right out oh, straight. Don't, don't mess bitch. with another man's balls. Don't oh, mess with his jewels, you know? Oh, it ain't cool. Bitch. Not a slightest. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is with harsh language? Is it... Why? Why you do harsh language? I did... I know I did harsh language before. But can't we just sit down and be civilized for once? Thank you. Oh, sorry. I meant fuck you. 
You disappoint me. That is just unnecessary. <coughs> Come on. <coughs> Come on, this... <coughs> Not fair. You're way more than me. Can't you give me a chance at least? Forget it, little man. You had your chance. Take his stuff. Let's go. You heard him. Let's wrap it up and get out of here. Well, I take that. You, uh, you don't mind, do you? I'm gonna kill you, Dennis. You fuck. Good luck with sense now, Red Hood. You'll need it. You've got to be kidding me. No way they would leave me to die here. I could be really dangerous. Eat them, not me for fuck's sake. I taste bad, or whatever. Just don't eat me. I'll fuck you up. Don't you? You fucked up my nose, man. Ah, it hurts. Why do you have to do that? Why, why kick me in the nose? Oh, just, just lay there and die. Please slowly die. Ah. Please, please. And why the fuck not? You were the one who attacked me out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Please, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. I've had it with selfish shits like you. Just sh show me what's in your bag. You can't take my stuff. Those are my belongings. You have no right. Oh, please, won't you just shut up? Hello there. How's your head feeling? Please, let me go. I gotta tell you, you had some delicious stuff in that bag. I mean, I mean, canned beans? Mm. Mm. I used to go camping, you know? Man, I love those times. I promise that you can have all my stuff. Just let me live. You had some real nice equipment with you. How come you're so well equipped, huh? Who did you kill for this gear? Is it, is it military? No one. I would never kill anyone. Never in a lifetime. Well, you're a terrible liar. I mean, you tried to kill me earlier, so you better stop lying, or I'll promise that you'll end up with a bullet in your head. Don't, don't shoot. I came across an abandoned military field with tents, crates and supplies all over. I didn't need to kill anyone except for some infected, but that's it. I believe you, for now. H have you ever had to kill anyone other than that? Yes, once, but I had no choice. He was going to kill me if I didn't, okay? It was either him or me, and he was already gone since he was bit. 
All right, then. I, I guess that's fair. I mean, you did put him out of his misery, and then, then it's okay. I think. What about you? Have you killed anyone? No, only the ones who's already dead. Yeah, those are... It's different when... You know when they are alive. So, where are you going? Um, uh... Oh, I'm Liam, and I don't know. Somewhere safe, I guess. Yeah, not the easiest thing to just stumble across, but... Uh... Uh, I'm, I'm Vincent, by the way. Shit! They're timing quick! They're coming! Who? The infected! They're coming! And after a while, this dude just convinced me that this new fishing pole that I, that he told me about would make my life so much easier and way, way much better. And what do you think is the first thing that happens? It, it breaks, I guess? It fucking breaks! <laughs> Can you believe this fucking guy? It fucking breaks! <laughs> man, that's some funny shit right there. Every fucking time. Yeah, man, I've been there. Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you buy that fancy fishing boat? Hey Jenko, ain't, ain't, ain't that Robert over there? What the fuck? Jenko! Hey, is that you? Hey, hold me, would you? I'm not saving your sorry ass, Dominic. He's done for. Yeah, man, he did leave Vincent, and I have a few things I would like to say to that asshole. I say we'll let those monsters eat him alive, tear him apart, and give that asshole the death he deserves! But we wouldn't be much better then, would we? And besides, we need that RV, man. I guess not. But we can't exactly fight him off. I mean, we have got four rounds left. I know. We have to do something at least. What you gonna do? Hey there, Dominic! How you doing, man? I'll deal with you soon, you fucking piece of shit! Come on, guys! Everybody! Just follow me! Follow this! Nice to see you again, Jenko. You two showed up just in time. I knew someone still cared about me. Fuck you, Robert. Next time I'll kill you. I hope you know that. <sighs> Thanks. Reunions sure are the best. So why are you here, if not to save me? You fucked up our group and left with the only vehicle we had. The rest of us got divided, and now we're looking for Sarah and Rachel, all thanks to you. Where's Vincent? Did... did he make it? What the fuck does it look like, you prick? Do you see Vincent anywhere? No. No. Well, you know why. Because we left him. You left him in that store, Robert. You're the reason he's dead. You selfish son of a bitch. You're pathetic. So pathetic that you only care about yourself and expect others to care about you no matter what you've done. Yeah, but we really need to get going now. They're not fast, but damn, those fuckers never get tired, man. Well, uh, sorry, Dominic. We've got a bit of a situation. Flat tire, you know. Oh, well, I'm gonna punch you real hard, Robert. Right in the face. As soon as we get our asses out of here. Why didn't you just change it? Oh, ha ha. Yeah, because I didn't try that already. You have no fucking spare tires, Junko. You know that the RV has a storage box on the roof, right? All right, let's just get the fuck out of here. Holy fuck! Come on, man. Don't let me die. Help me! Just calm down, I got it! I could use some help over here.
No. How do I? This can't be happening. My legs. Tell me what to do. I'm sorry, man. What? You can't do that. I'm gonna have to cut it off. No. You know, we did the right thing. Lucy wouldn't be safe around her. Yeah, I know. I think. I don't know. It feels so wrong, you know? After what she did. <laughs> this might never go away. And if it does, we can't have Rachel around to do something like this again. After what she did? This wasn't one of the dead ones, you know. He, he was alive. Even though he killed Sarah, I can't believe she would actually do that. you off guard. There's... It's okay. Ah. Where's my leg? Vincent, what did you do? Where's my leg? I'm sorry, okay? I, I had to do it. You would have been dead otherwise. I had to save you. Watch out! The gun must have been trying to... Uh... We gotta go. The living room. Get in the living room. Fast!
was a hundred percent sure we both were done for. I'm, I'm, I'm positive now that we're, we're unkillable. We can't die. That's a lie.